So a question a few days ago is about how do you build and save the column templates and this is in Bootstrap Studio. So we'll load this up um, and so we'll go for a new design and we'll just put a blank design as I like to do that really. Um, so literally a blank page. So if you go onto the left side here you go to columns and then you have one row two columns. So we'll just put this in here and there we have that. So that's basically what you do. And we have here is the column. And we convert to HTML. So I hope you can see that. And now custom code. So edit code. So now we have. Obviously, there's a, it's 12 columns is uh, is Bootstrap and Foundation uh, frameworks. So we got we there have two sixes. So we can put that as anything we want. So for example, in this particular case, we could have five, and this is this is our left side. And we can put anything in here. And just apply. So that's that. So next one is again convert to HTML and edit code once again. I think that was why, wasn't it? So you could put this as seven. I mean, this is just like a two column one. Um, you can have as as it's on here. You can have one row, four columns, one row, three columns, anything you want to. And again, I just put on hi. I'm the right side. You can put images. Colors and text here, and again apply. And sometimes, like when you you have a lot of videos I've done, it's it's years ago, and they have changed things in a little bit. When things get more complicated, because it was a very simple interface and things like that once over. Um, but I mean, it's, you know, as the as like everything goes, it, it tech gets more um, well technical really, and simple things you can't really sometimes say. It. So we just save that there as untitled. It doesn't really matter. Um, and how to save it in the HTML format is export. And we got here export this uh, export destination. So the export settings, so we're going to put in just here, zeros and ones. Select folder and we can just export that. So you get your design was exported. So we'll go to this and we just go to documents and then we go to zeros and ones and there we have it. So there's your index there. And this is how how it looks there. Um, and then you can do things like this is my site where you know this is like your two column um, process and that's off like a one row two column business and you know you can really do anything you want with that. And again with templates that's actually in Bootstrap. The ones on Bootstrap Studio aren't really that great to demonstrate on that. So hopefully that answers that question and maybe uh, other people have a similar similar question as well so thanks again for watching